Okay, time series. series. Hello there. This tutorial or this quick intro is for all of you heavy users of Adobe After Effects that are a little bit afraid of going to Cavalry, but I'm going to uh, hold you back and we are going to get there very quickly. So this is Adobe After Effects and we are going to open Cavalry. The first difference is like here we in Cavalry we already have a composition but in After Effects instead you need to create one. So where are these settings like where you establish like the composition settings or the sizing and all? Where is that in Cavalry? So let's go there. It's just the same. In composition here we go to composition settings. Even like the shortcut is exactly the same. Control or command on a Mac, K. We hit here and this is super similar. We have even some presets like in After Effects. So it's the same. To close it, you don't, you don't have like a, a button, but you click anywhere and it's like that. So again, coming here, composition settings, and we can change anything that we want, for example, this ugly white that is in the background now we are going to change it to black and uh, when we click anywhere in the interface boom so the next thing that we are going to talk about is layers and effects here in after effects we have one text layer and a shape layer we all know that we can move things around so that they are above or below so that that is very very similar in Cavalry, let's go there because a lot of people think that uh, Cavalry is uh, node based so it's not going to, there are not going to be layers there but they are obviously so here we are going to generate a text layer by holding on Alt or Option on a Mac and clicking here in the text tool uh, and all the controls they are going to be very visible uh, here on the left of the interface so now let's change some things about this text also the size and the color look how easy it was and then I'm going to generate a, a star the same kind of thing that we had in After Effects so clicking here selecting it and clicking and dragging we generate this vector which is very very similar to what we had in After Effects. Let's change the color of this and now it's just the same if I want this to be below the text I just move it around here so we have layers exactly the same as in Adobe After Effects. Now let's go for the effects and this changes a little bit more because as you know all the effects in Adobe After Effects they are pretty much centralized in the effects and presets panel so whenever we want something we apply it to a layer like this and the effect is going to be visible here okay that's the way to go in After Effects in Cavalry is similar but we have some things that are different and the first thing that I'm going to tell you is that you need to everything is gets stacked here in the at the left so it's very important that you work like hiding and making visible with these controls here because otherwise you are going to be scrolling up and down like crazy you also can just close some of the panels here for example this one or even all of them like this and whenever you click twice on a layer here it's going to be out again so very easy but please be aware that the problem so to say in cavalry could be like a lot of things happen here and they occupy a lot of space in the interface but let's go to the effect for example i'm going to again hide this and go here you see in the text layer and I invite you to come here to the deformers and filters and in a way 
uh, these two, the formers and filters, are equivalent to the effects in After Effects. So if we add here, for example, let's say an oscillator to the text, which is, which is very crazy, very interesting, it's going to be here on the left, the control, if we click twice on it, but it's going to be treated in a way in the interface like if it is another layer. In After Effects it's not like that. The effects are kind of hidden inside of the layer, but here in Cavalry again they are like a layer. This is very cool because we can see them, but in a way it's kind of confusing if you are uh, very much into After Effects because they are not directly related to this. That is because I can add this oscillator to different layers, but also we can make it a child and but a pin is going to be inside. We can also generate here folders. If we select this oscillator and with control this text layer and we hit control or command on a Mac and G, boom, we make a folder because we are making a group. So also like for changing the name is super easy. We select the, this group, we hit enter. Uh, so please be aware that if we add some effects which here are mainly deformers and filters they are going to be treated here interface like another layer so we need to be aware of that to organize a little bit our interface our layers now let's see how we work with generating compositions like you know that in after effects nesting compositions that means having one composition inside of other one is one of the main things here so how we do that in cavalry one thing that we can do like in after effects is we can click and drag the composition into this button here uh, composition 2 is going to have inside comp 1 if we click twice here if we click twice here in this part where it says assets which is like the same exact same thing as the project panel in after effects look how similar it looks if we click here we are going to go inside the composition that is placed here so again we can edit it like resting the part of the beginning we can move it around and it's going to be treated exactly uh, like any other layer. So in that sense, it works exactly the same. You can create as many compositions as you want. For example, let's create one from scratch with this button here. This is composition three. And we can start doing stuff inside here and place this new one inside this one, for example. So again, very very similar to Adobe After Effects. Now I'm going to tell you about maybe the most important and the aspect that generates more fun inside Cavalry, which is the way you connect different things. Let's put the oscillator out of here, let's move this around and you can place it apart because this can affect this. Uh, text layer and also for example this star that we have here okay so if we come to the controls of the star of this shape uh, we can directly you see this little circle here we can click and drag and this is sorry from the oscillator we can click and drag and we can put it like in very different places. For example, here with the deformers, you see how easy it was. So that means that this oscillator, if we click twice into the effect, if we increase the strength and play around with the, with the different options that we have, it's affecting both the text and this shape here that is a vector. So that's something that is really, really amazing. Let's generate another deformer. Here in behaviors, for example, a chop path, we click twice, is right here, and we can connect it to different things. Let's say, for example, again, you need to be very organized here. 
to the shape I think here to the formers yeah you see it's affecting that and then if we go for the text and we stop with the spacebar the player we come here again we click in the little circle we track you see that all the other stuff that cannot be affected but this chop path is not going to be available but this yes where it says the formers so that's amazing now if we click twice here in the chop path we can start messing around with it and this is very 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 interesting so here it comes the maybe most amazing aspect of cavalry for after effects users let's go to illustrator adobe illustrator and if we copy something a vector from illustrator we can let's go to another composition well, that is more more empty we can just come here to edit and paste it just directly okay how amazing is that change the color so that's something that you can just not do with after effects even if they are both softwares from adobe so this is really amazing and also let's go again to this craziness that we created here we can select for example this this little this crazy text that is not <laughs> anymore recognizable as a text we can click uh, select it and with right click we go here to this option copy as svg and if we go back to illustrator we can just paste it how amazing is that so that means that we have so many options to work very very quickly between illustrator for example and cavalry now i'm going to tell you how you animate inside cavalry so let's say we want to animate this polygon here i'm going to hide this logo so if we go to the position you can click here in this little shape that we have or in the x or in the y axis for example let's say we can animate we want to animate it laterally so we click here now we created the first keyframe because it you see here is green and we have it here in the timeline so we can move it around and if we move with the, the playhead uh, forward for example and you and we change this value we are going to have an animation just like that okay so now if we want to ease these curves or these keyframes and generate some curves we have here the button for the graph editor we can for example select this keyframe and come here to the button to generate some bezier handles and it's just as easy as that we can always preview our animation hitting the spacebar let's close the graph editor and go again to the regular timeline let's put them more closer so that our animation is quicker and yeah that's it that is working also we can the preview area is just as in after effects we ha we have these controls around here and that means that as we have here the loop option selected whenever we hit the spacebar we hit the spacebar to preview it it's going to loop in this particular area we can extend it and so on so let's go again to the graph editor and we say that for example we want to ease this this ending of the animation so we select the keyframe again and we come here and we generate some uh, Bezier handles so that's really amazing but for me the most interesting part of the way of animating in cavalry is that we selected these two keyframes let's make them uh, linear again here with this button so this animation is no more interesting not anymore <laughs> but if we select the two keyframes just by clicking and dragging and we click uh, the right button it here in magic easing we have some 
very 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 amazing options for example let's say uh, spring out we click here we go to the beginning of the line and we hit the space bar and you see how incredible is that just with one of these again right click this magic easing options all these are really amazing and these are like presets that work really really well so again go here to the graph editor and you can see when that this was created with just one click just two last things that we are going to cover very quickly one is how maybe you are wondering okay all good this is all vector and stuff can I import like a video or a PNG something like that yes of course you come here and import assets it's easier even if we go to the assets panel and we could click twice around here uh, for example let's say we want this uh, PNG and boom is here again we can create folders and we can organize stuff and the last bit that I'm going to cover very briefly is how we render out stuff or videos from Cavalry there are several ways but the most similar to the render manager in After Effects should be exactly the render manager here in file again I'm go going down to the render manager and this is a little bit different but at the end it's just the same for example let's say that I want to render the current composition current composition so I just hit here in that button or no let's erase that let's say that I want these two so I can uh, select the two with shift and drag them here and then for the format and, and stuff you go just here and you can see that you have all the very well-known options so then it's a matter of just here just uh, choosing a folder to export it so I'm going to say that just jumping from Adobe After Effects into Cavalry is not that difficult at the beginning maybe you can feel a little bit lost but that's normal that's okay but the way again coming here for, uh, to this comp that you can just click and drag and I don't know like connect things together is super interesting because because it leads to a way of working that is very experimental so give it a try I know it's like we have the standard version and the pro version but with the standard and free version you have a lot of options that you can already play with so give it a try Connect type series.